one of the problems for the Tea Party and indeed groups like the Tea Party, sort of grassroots factions of political parties, which essentially the Tea Party was and is, um, is that the presidential race really sucks up a lot of the public's attention uh, in, 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 in presidential years. Uh, what is more, you have the kind of casual voter going to the polls in presidential years. Uh, midterms are very, generally low turnout, between about a third and 40% of eligible voters vote, which was the case in 2010. This allows uh, activist groups uh, that can mobilize uh, committed voters to have uh, exaggerated impact on outcomes because there's, you know, there are relatively fewer other voters. But in presidential races, a lot more voters come to the polls. And these groups don't get to control the message because ultimately it's the two major parties, presidential candidates, that re really control the message. So I would definitely not look for a repeat of the Tea Party's influence such that it was, and I, I'm one of those people who thinks it was slightly exaggerated by the media in 2012. That doesn't mean that conservative Republican candidates, if you think that they are synonymous with Tea Party candidates, won't win and won't be successful. But I just don't see this group or these kind of amorphous groups of, uh, of activists that came under the umbrella of the Tea Party wielding the same kind of power that they did in 2010.